Hello, I'm Michael Gaucher, and I am at Home Baptist Church, and it is February 15, 2023, and it's 2.22 in the afternoon. I'm here today to do two things. I want to transfer files from the old computer used by the church to the new computer that I initially set up on February 5th. 2023 and so it's been a couple of days since I uh, did the initial setup and I have returned to get the files off of the old computer onto the new computer the second thing I want to do is optimize the new computer in the process right I began the optimization process the last time and I am going to wrap up the optimization process today. I brought several flash drives just to make sure that if any one flash drive failed, I have um, the ability to continue this process and not have, uh, have the entire process depend on just one flash drive. And so um, this is the old computer and I have um, a Windows utility called Robocopy uh, running on the old computer. Robocopy has, is a utility that um, has been around uh, in Windows for some time now. And what it does is it allows you to copy files in a much more precise way than the normal drag and drop process. And it's faster and it gives you a lot more control over the over the copy process and if the copy process is interrupted it allows you to pick up where you left off while that process is happening on the old computer i'm also going to multitask and continue updating the new computer and so i'm applying some of the vendor updates from dell and while those updates are being applied I'm going to set up the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse that um, we're going to use for this computer. The, the keyboard in this case is a mechanical keyboard that has been um, selected for its reputation and for its configuration for typing. In an office setting where you are typing anywhere from 30 to 60 words per minute, a high quality keyboard is vital for that process and so this wireless keyboard which does not need a receiver because it's Bluetooth and Bluetooth is built into the computer uh, it's going to allow um, the office administrator to uh, type their documents with greater efficiency I'm also going to use this software called O&O Software's App Buster and this is the the, the part where I'm going to optimize the computer by removing more of the un, unwanted programs, what we call bloatware, in Microsoft Windows. There are various programs that you can remove when you first set up a Windows computer, and then there are programs that you uh, cannot, for the life of you, uh, remove through normal means, right? There is no uninstall program. There's no listing in the control panel or the app section of the settings panel. And so what you have to do is use um, various third-party utilities or Windows PowerShell to remove those unwanted programs. And so App Buster allows you to do it um, in a very straightforward way. They are a Microsoft partner, so they made sure that they partnered with Microsoft in a way to ensure that their program doesn't have a negative impact on Microsoft Windows when executing this process. And so I've selected several programs that I don't need in Microsoft Windows and by removing them that's going to give us more memory available for the programs that we do use and that's going to help with the longevity and reliability of the computer. When you run that process, you need to reboot the computer. And so since I had some updates anyway for Microsoft Windows, 
it, those updates require a restart. So I'm going to restart Windows through Windows Update, which will also allow the modifications I made through App Buster to take effect when the computer comes, comes back up. Now I'm running a second program called ONO Software's ShutUp. Now what ShutUp does is it doesn't remove programs, it turns off certain aspects of Windows that you might find causes Windows to use too much internet or to uh, run too much activity in the background. And so what this does is it calms Windows down so that you have more of your processor and more of your memory available for the programs that you do use. And this is another way to improve the reliability of Windows and the longevity of Windows as well. And so when you run this program, just like with the App Buster program, you have to reboot the computer. So after I do that, um, I'm going to go into the Microsoft Store and check for updates. And so there are three areas of updates that we are concerned with when updating Microsoft Windows. Windows updates, the vendor updates. So if it's an HP, Dell, Asus, MSI, whatever computer, there's always updates from the manufacturer itself. So that's the second category. And then you have um, the Microsoft Store updates. Here I'm in the power area of the settings uh, panel, and I want to set this to high performance. Because for whatever reason, um, most of these computers come preset to low performance or energy saver mode. So my whole goal here is, is not only to transfer data, but also to make this computer run a whole lot better than it's naturally configured out of the box. And so I've boosted the power. I removed the background programs. I've removed the background Windows chatter. And now I'm removing temporary files and accumulated files and I'm using store well in Windows 10 they call it storage sense um, in Windows 11 they just call it uh, storage anyway whatever they call it it's the process where you can go in and you can select all the different category of temporary files that you want removed and so I'm in I'm in this this process and I am triggering the removal of temporary and accumulated files uh, from this computer so that there's more hard drive space available and also know that when you just leave a lot of extra files in windows that it does slow the computer down eventually it reaches a tipping point where there are so many temporary files that it um, either silently or more noticeably interferes with the smooth operation of the computer so if you stay on top of this you will make the computer run a lot better but I can also uh, choose a setting where it runs automatically. So after I do it manually, I'm going to set it to run automatically. I'm also going to go into the personalization area of the same overall settings. And I'm going to change the contrast just a bit so that the text and words that are on the screen are a little bit sharper. And so... Um, that's what I'm going to uh, affect here is to create a little bit more sharper detail in the text on the screen. My next goal while I'm doing this is to um, tweak the optimizations in Windows just a bit so that they are calibrated to the way that this computer is actually used. So I'm going to set the disk defragmenter um, from a weekly optimization run to a monthly optimization run because based on my analysis of the data during the data transfer this the the rate of accumulation of the data on this computer is such that a monthly optimization schedule is more appropriate and will uh, re result in less wear on the internal solid state drive I'm also going to run disk cleanup and this cleanup is a utility that has been included with multiple versions of Windows going back, several versions of Windows. And it does the same thing as Storage Sense or Storage that I showed earlier. But what it um, allows me to do is 
basically get a second opinion, so to speak, so that when I uh, run it, it will um, capture some of the files that the other storage utility may have missed or was unable to clean up when I first ran it. Now, if you are running this and it looks like the progress bar is um, stuck, trust me, it's not stuck. It's just taking it a while to get through either all of these accumulated files or it's working uh, through some lar rather large files that it's going to take a while for it to dislodge from the system. You'll notice that I also run these processes twice, once for system files and once for regular user files. I'm going to wrap this process up with uh, Robocopy. And so I am going to copy the files from the USB flash drive, which I also made a zip file that I'm going to keep on this new computer. But I will run Robocopy from the flash drive to the local hard drive and as I mentioned earlier Robocopy is going to allow me to complete this process faster and with greater detail than your normal drag and drop and this whole process of data transfer concluded at 6.40 p.m. and it was um, a success so we got the computer optimized we got the excess clutter reduced on the machine and we have the files copied over